All right, now that we have NinjaTrader installed, let's go ahead and fire up the application. You'll see that I only have simulated trading enabled, and that's because the demo version is installed. If we had the full version installed, you'd see the live trading also enabled. So the first thing we'd like to do is get started creating a new strategy. In order to do that, um, we can start in the control center, which is the first window that NinjaTrader displays. Uh, if we want to start a strategy, we go to the tools menu, say new Ninja script, and then strategy. That will fire up the new strategy wizard, which looks like it's going to take us through the automated creation of a strategy, but we're actually going to just get started with the wizard and then bail out halfway so we can get a C-sharp class created for us that will give us a start as a strategy. On that first screen, we'll click next. Then I'm going to give my new strategy a name. I'll call this a Demo Golden Cross strategy. I'm going to leave this calculate on bar close checkbox checked, although, as we'll describe later, it does not matter too much for historical testing. Once we have that set, the first thing we want to do is hit unlock code. NinjaTrader is going to prompt us saying after unlocking the code, we cannot proceed forward in the wizard mode. And that is exactly what we want. We want to jump over to C sharp mode so we can implement our strategy logic in .NET. And just like that, we have a C sharp class that provides a template for a strategy. If you're familiar with C Sharp, um, this will look very familiar. You'll see using declarations in a region at the top of the file. You'll see that the class that's been created inherits from strategy. Strategy comes from the NinjaTrader DLL, ninjatrader.strategy. And there are some standard variables and some other methods that are already implemented in this class. Specifically, the important methods are the initialize and the onBar update, which you'll use in almost every strategy you create. The initialize method, um, as you can imagine, is called every time a strategy is initialized. So every time it fires up in either the live trading or in the historical back tester, as we'll see later on in this series. The onBar update method is called on every single tick in your strategy. So if we're doing one minute ticks on bar update, we'd get called every minute. If we're doing five minute ticks every five minutes. And for this example, we'll be doing one day ticks, uh, one day bars. So the onBar update will get called every day of historical data.